Turbo Camry part 15. All right, so the next part, since I'm waiting for a tool to come from Japan to put the gearbox together, I'm gonna mock everything up and I'm going to check that it all fits in the subframe. So I'm gonna start by taking the engine off the stand and then we're gonna put the gearbox on and see if it fits. It doesn't even fit. Hopefully these chains hold up, always makes me nervous. We'll just undo this temporary engine mount that we used to keep it on the stand. Nervously looking at the chains as I do. So the gearbox is on and it fits. The next part is going to see whether the transfer case fits onto the side of the gearbox. Nope, doesn't fit. So. As expected, there's probably going to be a lot of grinding that's going to need to happen to get it to fit. Ha! Gay! Angle grinder. And presto. This whole fit so far has taken about four days to grind all that stuff off and get it all to fit. The actual transfer case came on and off about 25 times until that actually fitted on there. Finally the transfer case fits and you can see it's mocked up on the subframe time to make some new engine mounts. This is a modified one that I'm just lowering on the front. I lowered it down about a centimeter and a half. The back one is going to have to be made from scratch. It doesn't fit whatsoever Ooh, with custom. the new gearbox. Cutting through this rather large piece of stainless steel pipe took about an hour with my drop saw and here is part of the bracket. Polishing it up just so I can paint it as well and that's the raw finish. Um, version of it. All painted and it's got the polyurethane engine mount on it now. That's going to go on the engine. We'll drop the engine down onto that and the idea is, is that it keeps the engine nice and level. Nice and level. So we want to make sure that, that drive shaft output is nice and level with the rest of this frame otherwise you're going to have problems with the drive shaft. Nice and level. So that's the engine in the frame mocked up for now. The next part is going to be to weld the actual subframe off and make sure that it's all rigid and modify the power steering mounts a little bit and then it'll be time to build the gearbox. Bye.